Greetings, this is Deja Bliss with Basmati.com and your 30-day meditation challenge. This is day five. So, today we're just going to begin in our seated position. Fingers folded into their mudra, spine straight. Take a moment again, and I'm just going to start leaving it to you to warm up just a little bit before you begin the meditation. We'll give about a minute or two just to warm up the spine, warm up the hips, just like we did yesterday. A little bit of a head rotation. And just feeling into your body, feeling where you might have any kinks, where you might have tension. Just allowing those things to drop out. And then we're just going to go ahead and drop right in to the pelvic floor. Take that energy and breath right up to the third eye center. Let's begin with three sounds of Om together. Visualizing a candle flame or a point of light. Inhaling deeply. Om. Taking awareness into the pelvic floor. I want you to imagine drawing the pelvic floor gently up off the floor by contracting the muscles of the perineum. So in a woman, it's like a kegel muscle exercise. In a man, just pulling up the perineum, activating what's called the mula banda lock and just gently pulsing and releasing at the pelvic floor starts to push life force energy gently up the spine. And as you notice, as you do this, the upper part of the body starting to feel some of that energy moving. So go ahead and take a breath in to lift that energy up to the forehead center. Holding it there, turn your eye gaze to the forehead and then release the breath back down to the base. So we're gonna do this a few times. So pulsing at the pelvic floor, pulse, release, pulse, release, pulse, release. The more you practice this, the easier it will become to do just mentally. Then we're going to contract to hold and release. Inhale to contract. Exhale to release. The next one, contract and take the breath up the spine to the forehead center. Turn eye gaze up. Hold the breath. Release the eye gaze and exhale down the spine again and relax everything. So beginning again, we're going to pulse, release, pulse, release with the Mulabandha lock. And if you don't feel this fast at the beginning, that's fine. Just as many times as you can comfortably contract and relax the pelvic floor. And again, we're building. This will also improve the tone of the vaginal walls if you're a woman. 
And if you're a man, this will also help move energy in the prostate. Very good for the sexual organs and also can improve sexual pleasure in intimate situations. So again, let's take the breath up as you contract that Muller Bandha lock. Breathe up to the forehead center. Eye gaze up. Hold the breath. And release the eye gaze. Exhale down and relax everything. We're going to do this three more times. So we're going to go ahead and go with just ten times to contract and release. So at three, four, five, or at your own pace. And as you're ready, you're going to contract to hold. Inhale up the spine to the forehead. Turn the gaze upward. Hold the breath in. Relax the eye gaze. Exhale down to the base and relax everything. Two more times. So we're doing 10 pulsations at the Mula Bandha Lock. So the Mula Bandha Lock could be a practice in and of itself. All by itself, it stimulates all the chakra centers, gets the kundalini moving. Let's contract, inhale up the spine, eye gaze up and hold. Release the gaze, exhale down and relax. In the yogic text, so we're going last round, we talk about the Mula Bandha being if you did no other practice, just the Mula Bandha Lock, you could still achieve Samadhi, you could still achieve Nirvan. This is the one practice, and you know, many yogic practices are this way. We often like to diversify so much and try so many different things, but I encourage you to find a practice that you really like, that you really resonate with. Contract, inhale up the spine, hold the breath in, gaze to the forehead, hold, release the gaze, exhale down the spine, and relax. When you find something you resonate with, you should stick to that practice and make that your practice. Now we are trying a lot of different ways to get into meditation in this 30 day challenge. And from this, I hope you will find something that really resonates with you that you can do regularly. If you can just do one of the practices regularly, you will find yourself deepening and deepening and deepening in that practice, and it will become a source where you can reach layers of yourself. So now we're just going to go ahead and breathe up, breathe down. take you just right back down to that Mulandhar chakra. So right at the perineum where we have been practicing. Take your attention there, close the eyes, and expanding on this practice, begin to feel and to notice the place your body is touching the floor. Notice the muscles which have been used in this previous practice. Take your next couple of breaths there. And I want you to imagine reaching roots down into the earth as we did in an earlier meditation, connecting into the planet on your breath in, drawing energy back into your root to your base, your foundation, and feeling this area is colored crimson and bordering on magenta as the chakra colors are going through some transformation at this time in human evolution. 
nice and red, red, bleeding into magenta. Begin to feel in the center the sound yes. Yes, saying to yourself mentally. Feeling and saying into the center, yes, I am grounded. I feel safe, secure, and supported. This is the center which connects you to the flow of prosperity and abundance. So feeling in the center that you are prosperous, that you are abundant. Saying yes to this in this first center feeling all the needs of your life provided for easily, effortlessly, as if the gravity of the earth that you connect to now also attracts to you all the things you need. So as you feel that in this first center, taking a deep breath into it, feel the solidity of this first chakra, Mulandar. And now bring a visualization into the first center of a square. This chakra is associated with the square, with the earth element, is very foundational. The animal of an elephant is often pictured here as in the Ganesha deity from Hinduism. But this elephant represents wisdom and moving obstacles. So in this center, feel yourself connecting to earth wisdom, to the wisdom of the planet and all beings who have walked and roamed here. And as you breathe in, draw that energy, awareness, and wisdom into this first vital center. Let it fill the legs, the hips, all the way down to your feet as your base. Exhale any tension or resistance to these things. Let them melt off of your body. Let the earth receive any tensions you have and start to gently move your pelvis again side to side. I want you to really feel the anchoring in of that first chakra. So in this first week, really grounding into that first vital center. Maybe rolling the shoulders. And as we come to the last three ohms, I want you to imagine sending the ohms right down into the center of the earth. So go ahead and draw that Mula Bandha lock up just one more time. Relax it. And we're going to inhale deeply. Imagine a fire in a fire pit that would be sitting in that first chakra region. And the flames of that igniting your connection to earth. And the coals left over from that, since it's very earth elemental rather than fire. Feel the coals of the earth connecting in as we om together three times. Inhaling deeply. Om. Take your hands and place them down to the earth. Grounding that energy in. Thank you for joining me for the 30-day meditation challenge. This is Stasia Bliss with Buzzmoney.com and we'll see you next time.
Namaste.